Have you ever heard of a brand name called Halo? These are the Halo GT3 True Wireless In-Ear Headphones and what do they have in common with Xiaomi? And more I will show you right now in this unboxing and review. So let's get started. So these are the Halo GT3 True Wireless earbuds and uh, first of all what do they have in common with uh, Xiaomi? So it is over like three uh, different uh, yeah, uh, trees or roots basically. Halo is a brand belonging to Dongguan Lisheng Electronic Technologies. Dongguan Lisheng Electronic Technologies is a subsidiary of Dongguan Hele Electronics and Hele Electronics and Lisheng Electronics are the OEMs for Xiaomi's Mi or Redmi Air Dots, so the other true wireless headphones. So what you will get here basically is the same technology is what they want to say that you also get in Xiaomi earbuds. So the same company and their technology and knowledge is within here. So these are the uh, very affordable GT3s that as you can see here with the stem design look a bit like AirPods, AirPods Pro like um, earbuds. So this is the packaging that arrived from China here and as you can see here this is a smart touch control, 24 hours battery life, uh, wireless V50 means Bluetooth uh, 5.0 master slave switch option so you can have one earbud as a master but you can also switch it to the other one being the master if you want to. And it is the Halo GT3, as you might see here. It has approximately one hour and uh, f uh, one and a half hour charging time and calling time four hours. And the earbuds have five volt, 100 milliampere hours. And uh, we have all the little bits and pieces in here. And together with the charging case, it should last for 24 hours. Uh, so what we want to do is now don't talk so much. We just open them up to see what comes inside of the box. So here we have the earbuds already in a case. And what else do we have here? Probably some paper material as you can see here. So we get, first of all, we get a cable USB type C to A. It's even written here, Type-C, so you know directly it's a Type-C cable. Then we get, of course, some earbuds. So we have here uh, large and uh, smaller ones, and the medium ones are probably already in the earbuds. We get some paperwork here as well, just like an instruction manual of the Halo GT3s. And this one is in English and Chinese. So here we have the English version, as you can see here, yeah, uh, pretty simple case and pretty simple earbud. It also explains everything, what you can do with those earbuds. And uh, one of the interesting points about these earbuds is the price. Then I heard the quality should be good, but uh, it only supports SBC as a codec. So it doesn't have even AAC support, which is interesting and no aptic support, but should still sound great for the price. So let's take a look at the uh, packaging first or at the charging case Halo logo here, as you can see. And yeah, the charging case reminds me a bit of the FreeBuds uh, from Huawei, the first FreeBuds, so FreeBuds Lite. We have USB Type-C here. There are probably somewhere some charging indicators. Let's uh, open it up. I have my uh, Xiaomi phone here, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, uh, just in case I want to use it. Yes, we have the three LEDs here that show it is fully charged, which is nice. And I can open it up and it should go now in, it's blinking now. It's probably now in the mode of uh, pairing. So I can go into my uh, phone here. I can go into Bluetooth settings and I should now if I take them off. This is the left one. This is the right one. You can see here. Ah, they were. Ah, there we have them. Halo GT3 already. And you see, they were like, there was a sticker or moved onto. Let's pair them. That, and they're already paired, as you can see, uh, to not charge them so they don't discharge as well. 
in the case itself. So these are the medium sized earbuds and uh, um, yeah, it looks nice. It has like a matte finish here. You can see that in the matte finish it has a left indicator. It has internal microphone somewhere, a hole at least. Not sure what this is for. And it has some glossy bits and pieces here which are able to control stuff. There is, I think, a control panel here as well. It is black, so it's hard for the camera to focus on, but you can see what I mean, I, I hope. Uh, there, so it has this uh, design. Uh, it's, I think it's okay for the price. It's very lightweight, I have to say. And yeah, this is the design of them. And I think these pads here are like for tapping and for uh, maybe some other controls, double tap and, and press and hold. I will figure this out. Uh, I have them connected already via SBC. I'm connecting right now to them uh, via SBC, as you can see here. So I can go in, I'm not connected right now. That's a bit weird. Uh, let's put them back in. And uh, now they say they're connected. You can see they have a little LED indicator as well here. Now I put them out to see how fast they can connect to the last device. They only can, they're not, ah, there they are. Halo GT3, uh, pair. And now they should be paired, connected, 80% charged. They are active. I can go in here to see uh, what I can use them for. Uh, there's also contact sharing and so on. But yeah, like I said, they only connected via SBC, no AAC or anything. But uh, yeah, let's see. I will listen to them and I will take a look how good or take a listen how good they really are. So I'm back in a minute. So this is the earbud, the Halo 3 GT. And I tell you now how to put it in the best way. First of all, what you have to figure out is the ear tip. I exchanged the medium sized ones to the large ones because the medium sized ones, I didn't have a good ceiling. What you have to do is put, just take it at the stem because otherwise if you put it like this, your hand or your finger here, you might trigger one of the buttons and it will start playing all over uh, things or uh, it will uh, reject calls or something that you really don't want to. So hold it at your at the stem and then put it in your ear like this and then start twisting it until it reaches like this so it's holding here onto the upper part of the ear lip so the hard part here and now it has a perfect fit and it's yeah it's, it's not it's lying there it's lying there really really good so i don't have any issue also with the second one I can show you the same uh, way putting it in here and it's lying here on the top of, of, the, of the hard part of the ear lip basically and it's, it's a perfect fit and already I hear my voice muffled a little bit because they are sealing very tight and good but not so tight that I cannot put them out of the ear very easily as you can see here so in the ear good sealing out of the ear also good sealing and every time you put them out and uh, in the ear grab them at the stem uh, otherwise it will start playing any, something back or you hit the pause or uh, next track or something that you really don't want to. So this is maybe one of the downsides of the design of the uh, trackpad here that it's very easy to hit and it starts then playing something and you really don't want that. So this is pretty good. When I have them in my ear they feel very lightweight. They don't feel like pressuring on my ears because I took the time to choose the right ear tips for my ear canal so there's no pressure at all if they're lying like this and they're pretty lightweight you don't notice that you have them in your ear which is pretty awesome when it comes for wearing comfort they're very good so uh, 35 euros I think they cost right now and you can I saw them already on eBay for 20 or sometimes even 10 euros somewhere else so ear comfort wise it's awesome uh, it really for this price you probably don't get anything better in the true wireless headphone area uh, when it comes to 
Yeah, the convenience, like I said, the button, the tap buttons, there is a slight limit. You can do like tap once for playing something. It will beep shortly. You can tap again, it beeps shortly and then pauses. You have the possibility to double tap to go to the next track on the right button. On the left button, double tap to go to the previous track. There's also a triple tap available, but this is not for volume raising. This is only for calling the voice assistant. So how much do you need the voice assistant? What I would really like them to do, it would be perfect. Awesome. Triple tap to raise the volume or lower the volume here, raise the volume here and press and hold for calling the voice assistant. This would be my personal thing because they have also tap and hold, but tap and hold is only for rejecting voice calls. They sadly don't have an app where you can configure this, but next time Halo, if you do this, uh, please implement it this way because I think that uh, raising the volume and, and making it down would be awesome if I can just swipe up and down, but I think that needs more sensors and for 35 euros or 20 euros, maybe a bit hard to do but in general i think the the usage here is okayish but i'm lacking a bit for the 35 euros it's okay otherwise it would be awesome again if they would have like uh, the possibility to also control the volume via triple tap instead of uh, uh, using it for calling the voice assistant which oh, be honestly i never really used this um, when it comes to sound quality I think they only support SPC, which is like 35 euros. Okay, that sounds maybe, oops, sounds maybe a little bit worse than they actually are. So for casual listening, the, you're paying 35 euros or 20 euros or 10 euros, depending on where you're buying it. It's okay. It's it's more than okay. It's good. It's good. Sound quality is good for this one. And what amazed me really is the Bluetooth connectivity. So Bluetooth 5.0, I can go throughout my apartment here and don't have any issues when it comes to uh, sound distortion or anything. And I tested it out with my mm, smartphone here, uh, the uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro and some music here and uh, uh, Cologne Carnival music <laughs> actually at this point, but other musics as well, other different uh, genres as well. And uh, they are pretty good and awesome when it comes to connectivity. Bluetooth 5.0 have uh, way more expensive Bluetooth headsets uh, that also support Bluetooth 5.0 or above that have problems when it comes to running around in the apartment, all uh, kinds of scenarios where they either reduce the quality of the uh, of the sound that's coming through or yeah, they um, have stutters. These don't have them, which is interesting. Could be also something to do with the SBC codec. So it's not as high of a codec as others are. The compression rate is not as high and the quality is not as high. And in certain scenarios, you can definitely hear that the compression is, um, the compression is, the compression rate is a bit higher. In certain scenarios, you can hear this, especially when you have like really high quality flag files, not MP3 files or Org Vorbis files but high quality flag files or very high quality mp3 files maybe they can you can hear it you can definitely hear it that it's sbc it is not aac or uh, something higher like aptx or uh, ldac or all the, all the other bluetooth codecs are called in terms of latency uh, no issues when it comes to playing back videos what i still have to test is uh, playing back uh, a bit of uh, games and probably will show you uh, right now how my experience is uh, when it comes to gaming here i'm playing some games with the uh, gt3 from hilo or halo and uh, yeah uh, we will see how the delay is what i had noticed so far is that there is some some delay So sometimes there's a delay when I hit the bat. It is not always uh, really directly there. So I can see hitting the bat, uh, the, the, the penguin with the bat here. And there's a slight delay that I can hear when, uh, when I have my halos inside of my ear. As you can see here, here the halos, I can put one out. 
and uh, I'm not sure if the microphone will catch take it maybe hear something I'm not sure I'll get out of here okay maybe you can hear something from the microphone so there is a small delay and you can definitely hear it and uh, it's unfortunate a little bit for these little games it's not a problem but for games where it is like um, shooter games or something like this you might notice that and might become a problem a little bit but it's 35 euros i heard worse already for a lot better higher price i would say so it's not so bad uh, the delay is minimum minimal i would say and uh, there's no issue at all when it comes to um, playing stuff here for me the casual games so that's basically everything when it comes to gaming and the delay there someone wants to see me win or lose sadly no new record <sighs> damn in general when it comes to the sound it is a typical v shape sound so they have elevated bass punchy bass like you want it like consumer wants it uh, 35 euros good then they have also elevated highs and i think this is where it falls a bit short and you notice then eh, it's just 35 euros they elevated a bit too much so you, you get this slight too high highs something's wrong with the highs just let me tell it like this it's a bit too high in certain scenarios i think it is like too harsh yeah too harsh i think it's the right term there it's a bit too harsh and i think they elevated them a bit too high so that the mids they are still there but they're not so much present and this is okay for casual listening and for 35 euros still 35 euros and in parts you can get it even cheaper it's it's good it is good for 35 euros you can get better sound no, no let's say you can get uh, equally good sound for the price range around 60 euros to 80 euros so in this case very good sound uh, for for this price range uh, what you get in the 60 to, to 80 euros uh, price range is in parts also anc already which is not the best anc but you get it at least here you don't get it i'm honest i don't need anc so much i have to say because i'm not wearing those for um, uh, flying around in airplanes or so in covid times maybe also a bit hard but no for commuting i would take them eventually and yeah in the bus i think the ceiling is good enough if you this i hear my voice muffled already uh, with this on and if i play some music or podcast even probably i don't have any issues with um, yeah having too much other noise coming in that is disturbing me i have to say but uh, yeah it's it's the for 35 euros the perfect earbud for people who don't want to spend more but still want to have good music quality uh, normal music quality i would say good normal music quality it's not the high standard high fidelity no it is good normal uh, music quality also streaming services you probably won't have any issues there at least if you don't use like tidal or hi-fi uh, kind of streaming where you would notice uh, probably the the, the the spc codec here but the quality is okay it is it's 35 euros and below so it is good for the price i have to say um there's probably not much they could in this price region they are very good i have to say uh, so this is what i can say in terms of uh, the sound quality of them uh, what i want to tell you about now is a little bit about the build quality and uh, everyday usage and where i had a little bit of problems here and there so one thing that i noticed uh, when uh, opening it up the flap is uh, nice and uh, the earbuds are also not falling out so the magnets are strong and uh, everything is working fine so far but <laughs> the design how they put it in here is a bit weird so this is the left one and uh, yeah if it would be the right one i could understand but it's the left one so you have to like take it 
and then twist it in your hand before you can put it into your ear which is a bit weird and when you are doing this like this and have to twist and turn it you press one of the sensors here definitely and it will then because it is so quickly in connecting to your smartphone i can show it to you maybe lying it next year putting it in putting it in and putting it in you can see it's already playing and just putting it in and it's playing and uh, do they disconnect from i think they're disconnected now from bluetooth yes they're disconnected and now if i want to take them out i just have to yeah this one first and then take it here put it into my ear and then the other one and usually i just have it already playing as you can see because i tapped here and it happens sometimes that i'm just playing something or skipping a song that i really don't don't want to so this design is just a bit awkward and this is like i don't know who came up with the idea maybe it's like a good idea to have the most battery in the smallest case but it is yeah this for if it would be like a free buds they have like i think on the left side they have the right ear but so you can put this out and put it in your ear then it would make would be something i could live with but like this and then have twist and turn it is um, a bit of a weird thing this is a bad thing now i would say a bit of a weird thing but what is really really good is that you can take either one of them out and just connect with them and uh, start the playback without any uh, issues should work now yeah it's playing now without any issue i can take out this one and it will connect as well and now I have both playing i have stereo I can take the other one and put it in here so it had automatic this master slave uh, pressed on it this is why uh, the master uh, slave um, changing so it would like if I wouldn't press on the touchpad it would go into stereo mode I can take the other one out and uh, hopefully not pressing the touchpad now and you can see it is still playing and i hear still the sound so it is automatically switching which is also pretty awesome the only thing that but for 35 euros what you can expect would be like having wear detection where it would like pause uh, when i'm taking them out of my uh, ear it would be even better but uh, in this case i'm pretty happy when it comes to uh, this design uh, of master slave thing it's working pretty nicely without big issues and uh, yeah the halo uh, gt3 uh, charging um, case uh, 24 hours i think or 28 hours what was it uh, written uh, 24 hours i think it's okay you can charge it a few times uh, but when it comes to like um, playback it's only around four hours that you can get out of them so because they are very small you saw there's not enough space for batteries so four hours i think it's okay for them uh, usually also a podcast doesn't last longer than this of course we are in germany we have those kind of long podcasts but uh, yeah four hours it's already stretching it so no issues with this what i want to show you right now is a small little microphone test so you can hear how the microphones on the halo gt sound like so this is a microphone test of the halo gt freeze and this is the sound quality that you can expect during calls or vlogs i'm using my on a 50 phone here that has the possibility to write, directly record uh, via the bluetooth headset which is working pretty nicely i like the design of the halos and the lightweight feeling of them and are pretty good and awesome i can imagine them also wearing for like a slight or light sports like running and walking oh, there's a mosquito going away flying here go away <laughs> and uh the uh, they don't fall out i think for 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 walking for running they're pretty fine and awesome and uh yeah will fit nicely if you do some extreme sports or something that might fall out but they're pretty tough i would say and i think they have an ipx rating even for 35 euros wow <laughs> i'm impressed so ip ipx4 i think rating they have so sweat resistant they are 
and uh, I'm talking like Yoda right now. Um, so what I want to say is one last thing. They have um, they don't talk to you when you are connecting to some device. Uh, they don't um, have some voice control, a uh, voice noise or something like that. Just a, a little bit sounds, different sounds from different uh, things that happen. And the cool thing is like you can uh, simply disconnect them from your phone and then they automatically go in pairing mode. You can see them with another phone and connect to them without issues. And uh, I connected and tried out various different devices already with those Halo 3s uh, without any issues. So connection is, they can only connect to one device at a time, but connection is fairly easy. And uh, yeah, for 35 years, you cannot expect such things. So very easy connection, uh, good sound quality for 35 euros, good wear and tear, I would say, IPX4. Uh, and I think the microphone quality is also not so bad. I have way higher headphones tested already. You might have saw the final audio EVAs that have so horrible <laughs> microphone quality that uh, these easily can beat those uh, headphones. So. Yeah, what do you think about the microphone quality? What do you think about the Halo GT Freeze? Write it down in the comment section. That is everything for this uh, small a little unboxing and review. And I can recommend those headphones, especially for people who want something under 50 euros, which is a true wireless headphone that has almost all the bells and whistles. The only thing lacking is the volume control. This is really Halo. Maybe software update or firmware update make it possible or just an app. Uh, where we can just switch this out would be really, really the uh, topping of the ice cake, the, the, the cherry on the ice cake. The You know the saying. <laughs> That's everything for this video. If you want to support independent content creation, tests, uh, reviews, uh, such like those here, like and share and subscribe. So I get more subscribers. I can contact more companies to send me stuff uh, just like the Halo's that I got from Halo for testing. They didn't have any influence on the video. They see this video the same time you see this video. And uh, yeah, I can recommend them even without Halo sending them to me because they are really, really good with a few minus points. If I find a better one for the same price range, I would say uh, and recommend this one then instead. But so far I didn't find anything in this price region that can compete against the Halo GT fruits. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.